Sack Passe. In today's video, I would like to share my first experience notarizing a real estate document, aka loan signing. I've done a lot of general notary work. Um, that's where I feel like I, I excel. Right now, I probably did over, over 7,000 online. With online, you don't have to meet with the person. You don't have to go to the person's house. You don't need a printer. Um, there's a lot of benefits of doing it online. But then again, I'm not trying to tell you guys to do it online. You need to do what's best for you because everybody's different. Plus, there's a lot of things you have to know even if you want to do it online, meaning you have to know if you want to um, bring in your own clients or if you're going to share that client with a platform, aka like, like Notarize, right? Um, but yeah, other than all that, I'm getting into something else. Let me share my experience. Um, before I did my first loan signing job, I was really nervous. <laughs> I was really nervous. I was overthinking it. Before I even got into this industry, I was taking a lot of courses. And I remember when I unlocked the gold level, I took one week just to study my loan signing materials once again, because I didn't want to mess up. After that week, I finally decided to do a loan signing assignment. It was like two older couples and it was one guy. I talked to myself, I told myself to calm down so I could try to remember everything. Now the good thing is Notarize do provide you with a script, but unfortunately the script does not, does not explain the documents to you. Um, basically it just tells you what you need to do in the beginning, like checking the ID, um, you have to make them take an oath. The document probably had, I want to say 45 pages. Yeah, I want to say it had like 45 pages. I'm just guessing. I don't remember exactly how many pages, but I know it wasn't 90 pages or anything crazy like that. <laughs> but here's the funny thing. But I only recognized maybe three out of the pages, out of, I think, 45 pages. I only recognized three. And I'm looking at it like, how the heck am I going to explain <laughs> those documents to, to those clients? Doing that signing, I did not explain one thing. I just focused on what I needed to focus on. I made sure they signed their name exactly how it is in the document, looked at my notarial wording, make sure everything was right, my stamps, my signature, check any initials if they had to add any initials. So I made sure to pay attention to all of the things that are actually important. But let me give you guys some tips. You know how I do. I like to give value. When they're signing their real estate documents and they are about to acquire a new property or sell their property, they don't know your position. I introduced myself as the notary and I told them, listen, I can only give you a brief description. And if I know where certain things are, I could show it to you. But if you have any real questions and you are confused about anything at all, please feel free to call your agent at any time because I know you're signing an important document. This document is very important. Don't feel the need to rush to anything. If you have any questions about anything at all, call your agent at any time. And that was my introduction. All of them, they still respect me and they still looked at me as an expert even when I didn't even explain any of those documents to them. So basically, once you already tell them off bats, you give your introduction, you tell them what to expect, then they're not gonna put any pressure on you, right? So when the, the guy had a question for me, he was really cool about it. Once he asked me and I told him, um, listen, I don't know the direct answer, but go ahead and call your agent. But once he called the agent, I see his tone kind of change. He was pretty, more, he was more stern. The agent said, okay, all you have to do is add this and this is what this means. And then that was it. Once you feel more comfortable, you could go ahead and take more responsibility when it comes to giving them the description of the documents. Now, once you've been doing it for four or five years, you're going to be so comfortable explaining all of the documents to the client. If you're not in that stage yet and you're just a beginner, don't act like you're this super expert that knows everything, okay? That's going to be a killer. And by the way, you're not supposed to explain the documents anyways. You're supposed to give a brief description to what the document is. Your main job is to make sure they sign properly, the initial property, date the document properly, make sure your notarial wording is correct, Make sure you add your stamps, your venue, all of that good stuff. And then everything else is extra. When they're looking at the document, they're checking for mistakes. If you have any questions for me, make sure to leave it in the comments. And I would love to hear your story. Let me know about your first experience as a loan signing agent. 
Did you do it online? Did you do it physically in person? How was it for you? All right, let me know and I'll see you on the next video. My name is Edgy and I'm out.